Hey, this is Stefan, president of Crew Technologies. We are an AppSheet partner, and I'm excited to just uh, kind of talk about the recent acquisition of AppSheet by Google Cloud. I mean, this is a huge opportunity for AppSheet, a huge opportunity for no code in general. Uh, up to this point, um, kind of the big cloud players have dabbled in no code or low code tools like Power Apps, Google App Maker, things like that. Uh, but I mean, AppSheet is a strictly no code platform um, and they're leading the way in empowering businesses to make their own solutions uh, with their own internal teams without requiring programming experience or, or foreknowledge like that. So I think this is going to be a big step for no code as a uh, space in the market, as a tool in the tool belt of businesses. So let's talk about some of the big takeaways we can uh, infer from this acquisition. So you can read the blog post from Praveen, the CEO of AppSheet, or uh, from the VP of Google Cloud. Both of those are out there and have lots of good information. Um, kind of the key takeaways, in my opinion, are AppSheet is incentivized now to both integrate deeper with Google Cloud products, and they have an, un, an access level they didn't have before to integrate with Google Cloud products. So this is things like Drive, Sheets, Docs, Gmail, Google Cloud Storage, Google Cloud uh, Machine Learning, Android, uh, kind of those core Google platforms expect a lot more uh, ease of access, a lot more performance, uh, availability, and maybe even some new strategies or features that are built specifically around uh, the Google ecosystem. So we can kind of look forward to some of that. I'm also curious, will this mean a deeper integration with Google Analytics or Google Data Studio and kind of start leveraging some of Google's uh, internal analytics software to uh, improve AppSheet in some areas where, you know, they haven't spent as much development time uh, up to this point. So I think that's going to be an area for key improvement. I also think this is going to be a major, major benefit for the sales and marketing arm of AppSheet. So you now are going to be riding on one of the biggest brands in the world, uh, getting out a product and a platform that it was really hard to market. I mean, no code app development is kind of obscure to the market. It's hard to uh, help people understand what it is and then understand why it's valuable. You have to do a lot of teaching and educating. Uh, and so really the people looking for it are early adopters. But now you have the power of the Google brand behind you to help move your product forward a lot faster. Um, you also have things like Google's network and their industry knowledge. So Google already has major market share in certain verticals. Uh, so expect to see a lot of growth um, from just utilizing Google's existing relationships. Also, could this be, uh, could we look at adjacent marketing? So like some tools that are already out there like Sheets uh, are, are going to be more uh, coordination and um, connectivity or kind of parallel advertising with AppSheet. So when you're in Google Sheets, will AppSheet be an automatic feature? Uh, you know, I don't know if that's going to be a, uh, something that happens in the next year, in the next five years or something like that. Maybe it's way off the radar. But I would think some sort of adjacent marketing like that uh, is going to come about at some point. Also, you have existing hardware and cloud connectivity relationships uh, that are going to remain. So Box, Dropbox, Office 365, Amazon Web Services, Salesforce, don't expect those data sources to disappear. Uh, hopefully, AppSheet continues to push in deeper and improve those connections and improve the relationships there and the amount of features that are available uh, so that we can keep the awesome uh, broader market community that AppSheet is touching right now. AppSheet's community is global. AppSheet's community uses so many different tools. And I think it's an awesome part about AppSheet uh, because you see a lot more creativity uh, and, and diverse use cases that way. So what are some possible changes we could be expecting? I anticipate that there, the biggest changes are going to be strategic changes uh, inside of AppSheet's go-to-market plan. So previously, they've been venture capital funded, and then they're working to please and support the uh, needs and desires of their venture capital funding. Now that they're owned by Google, they've been acquired, they don't necessarily have the same restrictions or same incentives as before. I would think Google's incentive is larger market penetration. 
So I would expect AppSheet to embrace some sort of more aggressive go-to-market strategy. Would maybe that include some changes in their pricing? Would that be changes in who they're marketing to, how they're marketing, especially using uh, Google's network and uh, brand management or brand leverage? Um, I don't know. Let us know. I'm curious what you think. Leave a comment. I would love to hear from you on that. Um, one really cool integration that I would love to see that I think could be a really cool and powerful change is will AppSheet get integrated into Google Suite? So right now, AppSheet is an add-on. You're buying licenses to AppSheet uh, in addition to your Google Suite you know, monthly price. Will AppSheet get rolled into a service inside of Google Suite, maybe the premium Google, Google Suite? Uh, who knows? But I would love to uh, know if that thing would be coming about. That would be a really cool feature in my opinion. Thanks for listening and joining in the conversation. I would love to continue this conversation in the comments. Know what you think or any ideas that you see uh, that this could mean for different AppSheet partners, AppSheet customers, AppSheet users in the future now that they've been acquired by Google Cloud.